Um, he's going to show us a little bit about a uh, new Roland FP50, new keyboard, so very exciting, so uh, take it away. Yeah, well this is the very first FP50 into the UK, um, so we rushed it down to Anderson's um, so they could get the first sneak peek review on it. The FP range is one of the most popular ranges of stage pianos that Roland make. It's a stage piano that can be used at home quite comfortably uh, or in a live context. Um, so the FP50 here replaces the FP4, um, previously sold by Roland, um, and there's quite a few new additions to it that we can run through today. <coughs> so Jeff, would you be able to tell us what the main difference is between uh, FP4 and FP50? Absolutely, yeah. So one of the main considerations that um, people look at when they're looking at stage pianos is the weighting of the keys, the sounds that are inbuilt into it, and also the speakers. Um, in terms of the weighting, this is a fully weighted 88 note action with ivory feel and escapement on it. Um, but one of the big, big changes compared to the FP4 is the complete redesign of the speakers. And when you start playing it, um, you'll notice a marked difference in terms of the, the sound that you'll get from it. Okay. Um, some other differences include within the EPs particularly, a whole new array of EP sounds. Some really cool sounds. Fender Rosy sounds, driven EP with an overdrive, and some chorus EPs as well, which is uh, very cool. Nice. Um, and also taken from the FP7 are some tone wheel organs, uh, which completely expand the sound uh, palette. Okay, so more, more sounds in comparison to Yeah, the and, and, and really the most popular sounds that people are using are uh, pianos, Fender Rhodes, Hammond organs, those kind of sounds, which is, which is very cool. Okay. Right, Jeff, would you be able to tell us uh, what's uh, included in the package? Absolutely. So with the FP50, you do get a music rest and a sustain pedal, um, mm -hmm. which you actually have three sockets on the back, so you can connect the optional RPU3 there, mm -hmm. so you can have sustain that, and, uh, and sostenuto. Um, and another optional extra is the wireless key, because the FP50 does actually have a compatible app. The FP50 has a very similar layout, actually, to the FP4 in terms of how the buttons are configured. Um, it's very intuitive and user friendly. Where the big difference comes is the sounds that are actually in the, in the categories. So there's a whole new array of pianos, EPs and other sounds. If we go to the piano first, um, Paul, try the uh, concert piano. This has a much higher level of expression compared to the FP4 due to the speakers inbuilt. Go for it. Sure. If you go through the, through the different sound sets, the second one, the ballad one, is more like a, a German grand piano style. It's very rounded and quite a warm tone. So uh, feel free to have a play. Yeah, let's try. <laughs> but also how the tone changes from when you play quite gently as a mellow tone to really brightening up as you dig into it, which is the supernatural technology. Um, one of the great new additions are the EPs. So there's a whole new array of EPs, um, which are just all very useful. Um, mm -hmm. Feel free to go through the first one, the tremolo EP. <laughs> sound it's very much like uh, a fender roads kind of sound with an overdrive pedal connected to it so uh, check that out really mm -hmm. dynamic so other than that you've also 
also got a great array of string sounds and within the other category you have over 300 sounds so it covers all different genres of music uh, be it brass, strings, even synth sounds built into here um, so it also means that when you're recording within the FP50 because it has that capability or whether you're, you wanted to uh, connect it to another recording device um, you've got a great array of sounds there um, the other thing you can also do is either split sounds across the keyboard or dual sounds up together. So for example, if I press piano and strings together here, it combines the two. So Yeah, okay. sure, let's try it. So, you also have the ability to split, it's as easy as that, so... So, yeah. it, oh, okay, it gives you strings. Strings the bottom and there. But you can't have any sound with that one. Okay, how would you change it? If you press the split button, then you can just change it to any other sound. So, go oh, for okay, it now. So this is the, oh, this is the favourite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So, that's, that's the rhythm section. Um, sorry, that's the... That's the tone section. Um, within this tone part as well, you've got registrations. Because obviously, in a live context, it's very important that you've got your favourite sounds that you can bring up very quickly. Okay. If you press these two together, you've got four bangs here and five sounds that you can save within each bang. Okay, so we have, yeah, okay, so that gives you 20 sounds. 20 favourites that you can use within a live setting. Within each of those sounds, they can also be saved as splits or duels. Okay, that's, uh, that's useful. Also, mm -hmm. if you do have the optional three pedal unit, you can then use those pedals to go up and down your registrations. So within a live context, you can just jump to your next song very quickly, very easily. Okay. Without that's taking brilliant. your hands off the keyboard. So that's, that's the sound palette. Um, this section is the newly developed rhythm elements. Okay. So this is taken from a lot of the new rhythms that are used in our F120 rhythms and RP rhythm pianos. In terms of the rhythm element, you don't really have to think about when to change chord and how you change chord. It'll use the whole 88 notes mm -hmm. to form the chord patterns for you. So you can just play any song that you want and it'll just follow you with intelligent backing. Okay. So um, let's go for it. Yeah, so let's give it a try. So um, just press the start and go that. <laughs> and just play anything you want. Yeah, so, so the great thing about the rhythm element is um, previously you might have had to have experience with a range of keyboards or organs, but actually a lot of these rhythms are built for pianists. Mm -hmm. So you, it just adds another dimension to any piano playing that you do at home anyway, just makes it a lot more exciting. Um, and there's a, a, a large array of different rhythms built in going across different genres, pop, rock, disco, all sorts. Uh, Jeff, could you tell us, who is this uh, piano designed for? Well, the FP50 is very popular due to its versatility, actually. I mean, the speakers built into it, because they're redesigned, mean that you get a very good volume in a home environment, mm -hmm. or whether you're using it in a classroom, university room, anything like that. Um, and also, because you've got a very good weighting for the action, it means it responds as well as the Roland home pianos. Um, where this takes it to another level is that it's perfectly comfortable in a live context on stage as well due to the registrations, due to the great array of sounds built into it. Um, so it's perfectly usable at home or on stage. So it's open to quite a lot of people okay. who need a portable piano. Uh, when will they be available? Um, they'll be landing in store at the end of April, end of this month. Uh, and they'll be available in this lovely white finish or in black as well. For more information, please visit anderton.co.uk or uh, come to the store and talk to us. Uh, thanks for watching.